Hello everyone, I hope you're well and having a nice bank holiday. So, it's sad news today, so Friday, and they always say bad things come in threes, don't they? Um, it was a particularly bad day. The sale of my house fell through. Um, and then two other big things happened, um, we'll get to those. So I just got a phone call from the agent to say that the buyer had had her valuation report and although there was nothing wrong on the valuation report, it was valued lower and so she was reducing her offer. Um, so, and it was an offer I just can't accept. Um, very disappointed. <sighs> Feel like I've got to start all over again. Uh, house is half empty. <laughs> um, it's very disappointing. It's th and it's very frustrating because when she originally made an offer, she made a very low offer, to which I said no. And then she made a reasonable offer. And what she's come back with is dead bang in the middle of those two. Um, so I don't know. I just think, I don't know, maybe I'm just being um, cynical, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking she always in her head planned to do this and get it for the price that she's now offering. But anyhow, I've rejected it. And I've asked the agent to put it straight back on the market. Well, I actually asked them, because this all happened on Friday at two o'clock. And I asked the agents to put it on the market straight away. So it was on there for bank holiday. But as we know, these agents are pretty useless. And um, it didn't go on the market this weekend. Hmm. But then again, on a positive note, I have noticed that houses around here of a similar size and the similar style as mine, because um, there's a lot of houses in Stratford built of the same, sort of the same era, and you know, when they're all exactly the same, um, you know, like toy towns. <laughs> and they're actually um, now being marketed at quite a higher price. So I think that I should see this as a bit of a blessing, really, that I could have undersold on my house and that I should um, speak to the agents first thing on Tuesday and uh, get this put back on the market for a price that is actually worth um, and not undersell it. So the other bad news, because you know everything has to happen in threes. So as I got the call from uh, the agent, I was actually driving my back van, van, back van, back from the... Um, garage and it failed its MOT and we've had a bit of a to do with this blooming van and its MOT <sighs> basically um, the engine warning light comes on I had this diagnosed uh, sort of end of last year and uh, there's nothing wrong with the car there's nothing wrong with the engine there's no fault the fault is the engine light Anyway, they switched it off and they did say it might come back on again. And sure enough, it came back on in the MOT. So now I've got to go. And the mechanic at the MOT station didn't know how to plug in the diagnostic box, OBD or whatever it's called. I mean, mm. so I've got to go and find someone to do that and then get the van MOT'd again. Um, and then the third thing was, OK, this might seem a bit petty in the grand scheme of things, but... On Friday morning when I woke up, I found a grey hair in my eyebrow. I was like, ah! So, suffice to say, Friday was a bit of a downer day. Um, but I did manage to like tidy up because I thought, oh, I'm not going to be living in this chaos. So I shuffled the garage around a bit and um, managed to get a lot of the stuff that was hanging around, especially all the empty boxes and that, into the garage. Got my paramotor back in there and made some space. I'm not giving up. You know, things are just going to be delayed. So I am disappointed because it means I can't plan, like I was planning to go to Portugal um, end of October and then to Antigua and then on to Asia. Um, and I really can't make those plans now because I have no idea how long I'm going to be here until my house sells. So uh, as um, you know, I'm disappointed, but it is what it is. But of course, I've still got my Australia trip to look forward to. But I would say that 
you know, to, to people that are purchasing houses is, you know, I get that you want to have a bargain and you, and you want to negotiate for the best bargain, but if you've got a valuation report that's got no issues on it whatsoever, why then go back and try and haggle on the price that you've already agreed? I find it quite disingenuous. Um, because you knew that I was, you know, not by move, moving on in the UK and perhaps you thought that I was desperate to move and you could just cut me like that at the last minute but that's just not happening I'm, I'm you know I'm not that desperate well I am that desperate but I'm not going to let you undercut me by that amount of money you know it's a significant amount of money I just think I wish people would just have integrity um not like likewise I, I you know I've known for a few weeks now that the house prices around here have risen and that I, if I'd have waited a couple of weeks, I could have got a higher price for my house. But I was prepared to go, I, you know, I made an, an agreement with this lady, um, you know, good faith that I'd sell. So I wasn't going to then turn around to and say, well, actually, I can get another 20000 for my house. So I'm going to up my off, you know, up my price in the middle of the process. That would just be, to me, disingenuous. And, and I think... Uh, I, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I, I would have completely understood if if she'd come back and there'd have been something wrong with the house and, you know, like something structural or the roof or, you know, something that she couldn't have seen on, on view. And there's nothing wrong with this house. Um, you know, and, you know, and I would have happily negotiated with it, but I, I just, it's just that's a very, very nasty taste in my mouth. And um, I... I I, I don't understand how people can do this to each other. I know people do it all the time, but it's just not very nice. Um, so, you know, sometimes you think, I, I like to live by the motto is I treat others how I want them to treat me. And sometimes I think it bites me in the ass. Should not be so nice. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, um, yeah, it's been quite emotional actually. Um, yeah, quite gutted. Anyway, I don't want to get teary. Um, so what did I do after? So I did tidy up the garage and I, um, uh, sort of tidied my house up a bit and made it more livable again. So, cause I thought I don't want to be wallowing around at the weekend thinking about it. I just want to get the house sort of in a state where I'm living in it again. So I did that straight away. And then I spent the rest of the evening eating pasta and drinking wine. Why not? So I'm sorry that my uh, video today is a little bit of a downer because um, I don't like to be, um, you know, I'm quite a positive person, I think. Um, and I don't like having bad news, um, but, I, you know, I, I like to give you updates and uh, unfortunately that's the update. Poor Dolores is still poorly, but hopefully we'll get her back on the road next week and uh, hopefully we get the house back on the market next week and we'll start again. But the positive is we have sold so much and cleared so much already that when we do get a buyer, we'll be in a much better position to go. And, we'll st and I'm still going to carry on. Like I'm leaving all my listings up and I'm still going to keep going as I did before I put the house on the market. Well, not, you know, I know I went mad once it was on the market, but I'm still going to keep going because I'm positive that a buyer will come along and I'll get the right price for my house and it will be a genuine buyer. And, um, you know, my travels will happen maybe later than I planned, but um, they will happen. And I've still got Australia to look forward to in August for a couple of months. I'm sure there's a silver lining. There's always a silver lining. I do believe that sometimes things happen for a particular reason. And I just think Friday was my bad day. And, um, I'm due a good one. Thanks for watching and I do really appreciate all your support on my journey and as I said I'm really sorry to have to give this um, well disappointing news and um, I don't know next one let's hope there's some cheery news to share. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.